Hi guys and welcome to the Adventure Bite. Today we're going to be making deviled eggs. I'm so excited to get started with this. These are a family recipe. We've been making them for years and years and I gotta tell you this is kind of my favorite Thanksgiving recipe. This year with Thanksgiving it was a lot different than normal with COVID. We didn't have everybody all together and so when I got to thinking about what I wanted to have for Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> the one thing that I wanted was deviled eggs. And I don't know about you, but when I am at Thanksgiving, it is super rare that I get more than one or two deviled eggs. And so this year we made 18 deviled eggs just for us and we ate as many of them as we wanted. So I'm a little tired of deviled eggs, but um, I'm gonna share my recipe with you today to make the best deviled eggs you've ever had. So let's get started. First up, you wanna have perfect hard boiled eggs. So if you haven't made your hard boiled eggs yet, you'll wanna check out our instructions for perfect hard boiled eggs, or if you have an instant pot, our instant pot hard boiled egg. That's gonna get you great hard boiled eggs. They'll be perfect, easy to peel, perfectly cooked on the inside, and you'll be ready to start this recipe. So make sure you check those videos out first and then we'll get started. So you want 12 hard boiled eggs. I don't have all those today, but I'm gonna show you how to get this started. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut them in half, super easy. You do wanna make sure that they're cooled down. If they're too hot in the center, this part can get a little bit harder and the whites are more likely to break. So make sure they're cooled down enough to where they're cool to the touch. If you um, watch our other videos, you'll see that we have you do them in an ice bath and that just helps them cool down super fast. It also helps tighten up the whites and pulls the membrane away from um, the white of the egg. And that makes it significantly easier to peel. So we'll get these going here and then we're gonna add in um, a couple ingredients here. We have some diced up dill pickles. We have mayonnaise some pickle juice, mustard, salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. And one thing that I wanna tell you is if you're like me and you like to eyeball these things and you ever overdo it with the pickle juice, don't worry. The secret to fixing that is that you come in and add in a little bit more mustard. Don't ask me why it works. I have no idea what the science is behind it but somehow the two flavors are contrasting enough that it works. And <laughs> I know that because I put way too much pickle juice in this year and that's how I salvaged them. So we've got all those done. You could be a little bit cleaner with this if you were doing a lot of presentation on it, um, but get those cleaned out and then put them on your tray. Oh, and see, this is the one that you have to eat. It's just, it's a requirement. So you can set that one aside so that you can have a snack later. And then we're gonna start mixing here. So we've got our yolks here, so they're nice and firm. You're gonna just grab a fork, just mash it up. It doesn't have to be perfectly um, pureed. You just wanna kind of a rough mash in there. Just like that. And then we're gonna add this in. Now, if you um, want, you can add in a little bit of spice here if you like spice. Deviled eggs traditionally were a spicy dish. I have three kids and they don't like a lot of spice, so I don't put them in there if it's just, if it's for our family. But if you're just you guys and you wanna make them a little spicy, that would be very accurate to the tradition of where the name comes from. Okay, so we've got our pickles, our mayonnaise, a little bit of pickle juice. Set that over there. A little bit of just plain mustard. You can use spicy mustard in here or brown mustard if you like. I do like to put at least a little bit of yellow mustard in even if I use the spicy, just because I feel like it gives a little bit more acidity to it, the tang of the vinegar um, in there seems to be a little bit more significant. And then a little salt and pepper and garlic powder in there. I don't like using regular garlic. Normally, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of fresh garlic, but in this case, you don't really want the bite of fresh garlic. So it is better if you can just use the powder. All right, so mix this up nicely like that. Uh, if you have people who don't love dill pickles also, um, you can omit those, but I do recommend at least a little bit of the juice. You can also dice up the pickles really, really fine, and that helps with that as well. 
Okay, so there we go there. And now we're just gonna fill these in. I'm gonna grab a spoon and just start off with a nice sized dollop, just like that. You're just gonna top it in there. Now you can get real fancy with this. You could come in and pipe it. Um, if you're gonna pipe it, I recommend not using any of the dill pickles because it's gonna cause problems with your piping bag. But um, that is pretty too if you want to do the little designs on there. But for now, we're just gonna add in a few of these. Okay, so just like that. And then a little bit of paprika over the top. Um, I also like doing a little bit of bacon on mine. That's definitely my preference. My recommendation on that is if you're gonna do bacon and you have to make these ahead of time, just package up your bacon and then come in, sprinkle it in just before you serve it um, because it tends to get pretty gummy and chewy the longer that it's in the fridge. So just get them to this point, then you can wrap them and refrigerate them until the party and then top them with a little bit of bacon. You can also top them with a little bit of green onions and that's delicious too. All right, now the moment of truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good, it's salty, it's tangy from the, um, from the mustard, but the pickles are in there. They have a little bit of crunch. So good. So make these for yourself, make a plate of them for Thanksgiving for sure. And definitely check out our other recipes on the blog. There's other recipes in the description box below. Um, you can also check out our site, theadventurebite.com for more great ideas. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.